It is our second vlog of stay at home with a self isolation vlog. And it's Saturday morning. I believe it's March. Is this March 28th? Couldn't tell I've you. lost track of the days. Days are blending in. It's Saturday there. How about that? It's the last Saturday in March. Uh, Brian's here next to me setting up a tabletop game, so that should be fun. And we're about to cook a breakfast. Um, we've had lots of stuff this morning. We've He's run. We've both walked. I've conditioned their leather couch. We've been doing a bike ride. Oh yeah, that's right. He said he's going to take his bike out. I don't have a bike here. I only have one at the beach, but uh, he's going to take a bike ride. And if you're new here, I'm Carmen. <laughs> this is Brian over here. Hello. Hey, Brian. And if you're new to our channel, we are normally a travel channel, but during this time, obviously, we're not traveling. Be sure to subscribe and hit the bell so you won't miss anything. Are you ready for some Boma eggs this morning, Brian? I am ready, <clears throat> definitely. Here's breakfast this morning, and if you are not familiar with Disney World, they have Animal Kingdom Lodge, which has a restaurant called Boma, and they have the most amazing eggs, and we've been able to reproduce them pretty closely. It's spinach, goat cheese, and scrambled eggs. So, so good. I've been attempting to be productive a little bit while we're stuck at home and do some things that I don't like doing. And this is one of them. Cleaning and conditioning, this sectional takes forever. Um, the stuff I use is called leather honey, and man, it is hard to put on. It's like major elbow grease, um, but it does need to be done. So I uh, went ahead and did that today, early this morning. First thing on the agenda today is editing last week's self-isolation vlog. One tip I definitely have if you are staying at home all the time right now, get outside. Um, I know that's not possible for everyone if you're in a very densely populated area that may not be possible, but if you can safely get outside by yourself, uh, definitely do so. Get some sun. Uh, we did walk our two miles early this morning, but the sun wasn't up, and I think it's really important to get some good bright sun for at least 15 minutes a day. Need that vitamin D. Um, today is spectacular here. Uh, I'd say right now it's in the 70s, but it's supposed to get up into the 80s, and it's absolutely beautiful. Thought I'd give you a close-up if you watched last week's vlog. I talked about our yard, and I thought I'd give you a closer view of that from the outside. So from here you can see a lot more of the detail. This whole area was just rutted with really deep tracks from the equipment they used to remove the trees. So we had a huge tree right here that was removed. And they were supposed to dry, uh, ground out the stump, but they didn't do a great job. Like I still see part of the stump right over there. Unfortunately, I did not notice that while they were still here. Um, but it's it's okay. And the landscaper smoothed a lot of this out. It was in much worse shape. And then we also right here, I don't know if you can see this edge, we had these bricks, uh, some kind of landscaping bricks. You can sort of still see where they used to be. We had those removed because they used to go around this tree and some bushes and all that's gone now. So there was just really no purpose for it. It didn't make any sense anymore. And then we had them recreate the edge of our yard because in addition to the tracks in our yard, um, everywhere you see pine straw, that was also rutted and muddy from their trucks and equipment where they removed the trees. So the landscaper did a really nice job, and we don't have a fancy yard, obviously, um, but we don't want it to look like a mess either. You know, there's a happy medium. And I had to show these beautiful little flowers, though. I mean, how pretty is that? Little wildflowers. Beautiful. While we had the landscaper, I also had him do some other work, like remove. We had these bushes that were just never took off. They were... They looked dead. They weren't actually dead, but they looked dead. And this really ugly metal landscaping divider here that came with the house. So we had to just remove that. We're just going to let this go to grass or weeds or whatever. Whatever green stuff wants to come up on this side of our house. It's really shady here, so it's hard to grow anything. It's funny. I hear yard equipment everywhere. Everyone's taking advantage of this beautiful day. And Brian is actually biking right now. Unfortunately, I can't join him because I don't have a bike here. My only bike is at the beach. He has multiple bikes, so he's biking here, um, taking in some of this great weather. I think it's the first time he's had his bike out this season. He doesn't bike when it's really cold. Um, we put the GoPro on the back of his bike. We didn't have a mount here. Our mount for the handlebars is at the beach. So we mounted the GoPro to the back of his bike. So we'll see if we get any usable footage uh, from that. I will put that in here. In case you're curious, here's what Brian's bike looks like. So this is an electric battery assisted bike. So you still pedal, 
but it has a battery pack which he's holding off to the side here well, i mean you can not pedal. there's the battery pack yes yeah, so you can not pedal but it's pretty heavy if you don't pedal yeah and this thing can carry two battery packs hmm. i mean this is a really ancient electric bike it was cheap they don't make these bikes cheap anymore oh uh, that's too bad so here's the actual mirror and that right there is where the battery pack plugs in Brian just put the battery pack back in so you could see slides where it goes. Right in, yeah. Slides in, nice. For lunch today, I'm gonna cook some shrimp. I know these look cooked, but they're not. It's a, they're Argentinian shrimp and they're already pink, but they still need to be cooked. We get them from Trader Joe's, they're really good. And also I'm making some homemade uh, cocktail sauce for them with this ketchup. I really like this brand and also some horseradish, of course. We are going to play a tabletop game, Heroes of Tinnifer. We've played this before, it's a lot of fun. Co-op deck builder. This is the first time we've ever played Heroes of Tenefer on normal mode, so we expected to lose because we played on easy mode last time. I don't know how we did it. We literally both just ran out of cards in our deck and we managed to kill the last card in the boss deck. I, I mean, talk about the skin of your teeth. It was literally the last two cards that I had that killed it. My mom got us a 1980s puzzle so we're going to start working it Ooh, 1000 pieces yikes this might take a little while good morning it's now sunday morning i think it's march 29th it's hard to keep up with the days and the dates um we stayed up later than we normally do which isn't super late because we're early people working on the puzzle i'll show you what we got to um it's not very far for the amount of time we put into it but i think we made some progress um also we're making breakfast right now i'll show you that as well all right for a refresher there's what the puzzle is supposed to look like and so we got almost the entire border we're missing a piece right here um these look like they would go together but they don't uh, they don't really fit right and we barely start at a few very obvious places like Donkey Kong right there. Um, those were so easy, they stood out, but we still have so many pieces to go and I'm hoping that edge piece is lost somewhere in here. I guess we'll find out. Here's today's breakfast. It's eggs over easy, sauteed mushrooms, roasted tomatoes, and then this is a little biscuit that I make. Um, it's a the recipe actually made up. It's gluten-free, it's paleo, um, it's not perfect. There's no way to replicate a biscuit without gluten, in my opinion. I've never had a really good gluten-free biscuit, but it's better than any I've bought at the store. It's time to go outside and get my 15 minutes of sun. And it's sad, I have to take these shoes off and put these shoes on because of all the pollen. I don't want to track it in the house. If you're new to us, you know, we put up all of our screen porch furniture this is our grill. We've just moved it in here for now um, during pollen season because it gets coated and it's a pain to clean because it's kind of a fake wicker pattern. Um, and it's such a bummer because this is like the best time to be outside or best time of the year, but uh, the pollen just makes it not really doable. You can see all of it like if I wipe. You can see really how bad it is. All right, I'm out. I'm definitely in full sun and it got up to 91 yesterday. Definitely warm for this time of the year. Um, we get in the 80s in March easily, but uh, seeing the 90s in March was hot, but it's not humid yet, so it actually didn't feel bad. Um, but definitely warm for this time of the year. Today's 80s, maybe 90s, who knows. And then tomorrow I think it goes back down to the high 60s, which is probably, I'd say high 60s, 70s is more typical. Um, but we're about to get into April, which it warms up substantially here in April. It's funny, it hasn't rained in days. And I don't know if it shows up well on the video, but there are still water right back here. We're worried about this grass not taking because it has been so wet. I know it needs some water, but it doesn't need this much water. Um, our yard just doesn't drain. Um, it never has. And uh, the woods, of course, don't help because I think that backs the water up. But the creek is right here, and that's where the water, you know, heads towards. So we're pretty much on, you know, level ground with the creek. It's Monday, and the day is actually over pretty much. I mean, it's obviously daylight outside still, but my work day is over. And it was a crazy busy day today. It seems funny to say that when you work from home, but it was. It was a busy day. And also, I went to the grocery store at lunch. And for me, right now, that is super stressful. 
Um, it sounds like a very strange thing to say, but I don't like having to do it. I obviously have to. I will say I hit the jackpot today. I actually found meat and lettuce, which here have been, besides toilet paper, the two things that are hard to come by. So I was able to stock up. No, I didn't hoard. I took a fair share and put some in the freezer of the meat and just got one week's worth of lettuce because you can't freeze that. Um, so I feel like we're in pretty good shape grocery wise now, which is nice. Um, but it was just a packed day with doing that at lunch. It basically filled up the day. I got up super early this morning, did some house cleaning, did my workout, then worked really hard today and then ran out to the grocery store at lunch. So, uh, definitely a hectic day. Hopefully tomorrow will be a little more relaxed, all right? A little after work relaxation project. I got almost all the 1980s done and we've made a little progress along the way. This is fun. Happy Tuesday. It is Tuesday, March 31st. I think I'm getting the dates right now finally. And uh, I am going to quickly make some, uh, it's not really Boma pasta salad at this point. Uh, again, referring to the restaurant at Animal Kingdom Lodge. I've modified it so heavily, it's just a not even pasta it's a zoodle with zucchini noodles um curry pasta salad essentially it's just all veggies and curry and i use this avocado mayo that's really good um, so i've showed this a long long time ago in our home vlogs but i'll go ahead and show it it's something i totally made up and i even use my own curry mix that i make from scratch because i can't handle hot spices and most curries have at least a little bit of heat and so i basically put everything that's in a curry except for the hot stuff like cayenne. Um, so anyway, I'll show you how I make this. It's so easy and it's pretty healthy too. A really, really tasty treat. First, I start out with peeling um, four to five zucchini, depending on how big they are. These were pretty small, so I got five. And then I'm gonna run them through the spiralizer and um, the spices, I don't have it out yet. Garlic powder, this is my custom curry mix, so ignore the bottle, I just used, reuse this bottle turmeric and then salt and pepper to taste and like i said i use the avocado mayonnaise which i'll show i put red and green bell pepper in it and green onion got a little extra sound effects from the dishwasher here um i also forgot there's four stalks of celery as well so there's the green onions and the bell peppers and i had a tip from me to you during these strange times so right now if you haven't seen they're recommending that you wash your produce as soon as you get home before you put it into the refrigerator. And, okay, this one didn't have a label, but this one did. And if you do that, even after it dries, these labels will not come off. And I end up having to cut some of this to get the adhesive off and losing some of the pepper. So tip from me to you, take the labels off before you wash them, which sounds logical, but I didn't think to do it. I just, you know, put them straight in the sink to wash them and did not do that. So there's a tip. This is what the spiralizer looks like that um, makes the zucchini noodles, which look like that when they come out. I don't know if I can do this one-handed, but I will see. Yeah, there we go. So it makes these noodles and they're really long. So I actually chop them up after they come out just so it's easier to eat. I should have mentioned, I also wait to put the salt in when I'm gonna actually eat it because zucchini noodles will actually lose a bunch of water so it'll end up with a soupy mess if you put the salt in now. Um, but I've added a teaspoon of garlic powder, a teaspoon of turmeric, and one and a half tablespoons of my curry powder. Like I said, the only thing I do is just leave the um, cayenne out so you could just buy store-bought curry powder um, that would work fine do a tablespoon and a half of that and then i just do enough mayonnaise the original recipe called for a cup that was way too much mayonnaise for my taste so i actually just add the mayonnaise a little bit at a time until it's just enough to make it like a pasta salad i don't put a ton in i don't like it super mayonnaise-y and here's the final product it is so so good we are taking our walk i was able to bring the camera today because i'm wearing a jacket again our warm warm weather went away and now we are into high 50s today. I think it's not bad, but it's a little chilly. It is Thursday now. Um, it was pretty funny. If you, uh, I will link to his channel above. Um, if you don't follow Kyle from View from the Cheap Seats, great, great YouTube channel, by the way. 
he mentioned that every day is just a day now and they just sort of bleed from one to the other and, and he's not wrong it's strange because even though i do still somewhat look forward to the weekend um, because obviously i'm not working all day um, it just doesn't feel as special anymore um, so that just goes back to that the you know good and bad counterbalance in life that makes you look forward to things um, some of that's missing right now i guess i mean there's plenty of bad going around don't get me wrong but I'm just talking about day-to-day -day life right now. It's very different. Um, but last night, I went to bed really early. I had a really <laughs> grueling day at work. And I know that sounds weird since I'm working from home, but it was, it was super hectic. And uh, so I was exhausted, went to bed kind of early. Brian stayed up later, and he actually fixed the puzzle. He found uh, that it was what I was suspecting. We had some of the pieces on that side with the missing piece in the wrong order. So he fixed it and it looks so much better now. Let me show you. Here we are. Look at that. No missing piece on the side. That is exciting. And he said also, it's funny now, it just feels like it's taking off. You know, we're getting, there's the death of John Lennon. Um, there's the box. We've got Ninja Turtles. It's just moving right along now. So making progress. And here I am all set up for another day at work. We just got back from our walk. I came out here to talk to you guys and I'm going to go back inside to talk to you guys because there's like two sets of landscapers going right over there. It's really loud. Uh, but I did come to our backyard just to check on the progress if any grass has sprouted. And it's a miracle it has. I didn't think it would because we got torrential rains right after he seeded so it kind of washed the seed and so I didn't know if any of it would take. But it's starting to which is really exciting. I know it's hard to see but it's right in here. It's this teeny tiny grass. Um, I know there's moss and stuff too, but it's the little bitty blades of green coming up. That's very exciting. So leave us in the comments below. What has been your biggest challenge during this period and what has been the best positive for you? Um, I would say the biggest challenge, just me personally, is going to the grocery store, um, both finding what I need. Um, as you guys know, if you've followed us a long time, we like to batch cook and I like to have like a mental plan before I go of what I'm going to buy and what I'm going to cook. And that's just not possible right now. I have to improvise as I go, but also just the concern of accidentally bringing, you know, the virus into the house by going to the grocery store, either on the groceries or whatever. Um, for me, that's definitely the biggest concern right now. And um, for us personally, I can't speak for Brian, but I've, for the positive, I've enjoyed having more time with him. And I think we've both enjoyed working from home. It's less stressful. Um, some days it's not, <laughs> but I'd say overall, you know, for, just for the fact you don't have to commute and deal with traffic and that kind of stuff. I think that's been nice. Um, the amount of workload hasn't changed. I've still got a ton of work to do, but there's fewer interruptions. So I feel like I'm getting a lot of work done. So for us, I'd say the time together and the change for working for home has been a nice change. Um, do I miss interaction with people? Absolutely. Who doesn't? I, I think everyone does. Tomorrow after work, we are heading to our Myrtle Beach house. Yes, we will still practice self-isolation and social distancing. We're not gonna break any rules, but we need to mow our grass in the backyard. And we also wanna check on it before any restrictions get so strict that we can't even go there. I don't know that we'll get that strict, but it could, you never know. Um, it might get to the point where you can't leave your state, don't know. And we like to check on it periodically because, you know, we do have security, of course, but there's things you can't see on a camera you can't tell if the air conditioning quits working and you need to know that. Um, you'd have a house full of mold if it stayed shut up with no air conditioning for a long time. So we definitely have to check on that. So because of that, I'm gonna end the vlog here because we're gonna have a special Myrtle Beach vlog that will come out next and it will probably be between the two normal self-isolation vlogs. So it'll probably be sometime after this video, but before, the, before a week from now. So if you've enjoyed this video, be sure to click on the video on your screen right now and click subscribe and the bell so you won't miss anything. Until our next adventure.